In today's video, we're talking about highs and lows, thick and thin, short and tall. However you want to describe it, these pieces of tesserae need to work together in your mosaic. And we're going to go over how you can bring them all together to create a level tiled surface. Let's get to it. Welcome back. And if you're new here, my name is Julie. And on this channel, we talk about tips, tricks, tools, adhesives, materials, and specific mosaic projects, all to shorten your learning curve when it comes to creating mosaic art. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, please consider subscribing. In mosaic art, there are so many types of materials or tesserae that you can use, like small tea, stained glass, beads, glass tile, porcelain, vitreous glass, ceramic, mille fiori, glass rods, glass gems, stone, and so much more. Oftentimes you'll encounter two pieces of let's say stained glass or vitreous glass that aren't exactly the same thickness. You go ahead and you use them and you don't build them up because you're not totally worried about the surface level or the tile level being the same height. Let's say if it was for a piece of wall art or a flower pot. However, from time to time, you're going to want to use tesserae with different thicknesses in the same mosaic, whether it's two different thicknesses of stained glass or a buffet of mosaic tesserae. But here's the catch. You want the tiled surface of your mosaic to be all the same level or same height. Let's say for something like a tabletop. You can do this and I'll show you how. There's just a few things you need to keep in mind before and during your tiling. We've got a lot to cover, so let's get started. Okay, so let's talk adhesives for a minute. If you're tiling something with the same thickness of tesserae, you can often get by using an adhesive like Weld Bond, which is a white glue that dries clear. It's very liquidy. And by using Weld Bond with your tesserae of the same thickness, your tiled surface will be at the same height. But when incorporating a variety of tesserae in a mosaic and you want the tile surface to be level or at the same height, then you need an adhesive that will allow you some flexibility. And even though you'll be using a variety of thicknesses of tesserae, you can fool the eye and still have a level surface. In other words, you need an adhesive that is thick and will set up. Something like thin set mortar or mastic, which is also known as tile adhesive, or even epoxy sculpt. So for instance, depending on how thick you mix up your thin set mortar, it can act as a cushion or a pillow, if you will, for your thinner tesserae to sit on, pushing them up towards the height of your thicker tesserae. And we'll get to how we can do that in a minute. If you aren't familiar with mosaic adhesives, I have done a number of videos here on the channel all about the subject, and I'll include a link to the playlist down below in the description so you can check it out. So the adhesive is key when using tesserae of different thicknesses in order to achieve a tiled level surface. But that's not the only thing you need to keep in mind. Now let's talk about the tiling of the different thicknesses of tesserae. So as we just discussed, you need a thicker or stiffer adhesive in order to create a level tiled surface when using tesserae of different thicknesses. But before I even get started tiling my mosaic, I line up the tesserae I'll be using to find out which one is the thickest. If I'm going for a level tiled surface, that thickest piece of tessera will be what the entire mosaic is based off of. 
All other tesserae of different thicknesses will need to be built up with adhesive to match or meet up with the tile level of that thickest tesserae. I'll be using the least amount of adhesive on the back of the thickest tesserae. And I'll be using the most amount of adhesive on the back of the thinnest tesserae. Makes sense, right? Don't be alarmed if you have to put a lot of adhesive under tesserae like Mille Fiori or maybe thin ceramic that's next to a thick piece of porcelain, for example. It happens. I've made some mosaics where I had to add so much adhesive behind these thin pieces of tesserae almost a quarter of an inch at times, just to match everything up with the thickest tesserae. And you'll want to check your levels of tiling every so often as you continue working on your mosaic. Sometimes tessera can sink. You can do this a couple different ways. First, you can lay a small, lightweight level carefully across your tiled surface. You can move it around to different areas and see if things match up. If not, Carefully push the offending tessera down a little or raise it up if needed. If you had really small tesserae with a lot of adhesive under them, then wait 10 or 15 minutes before you start measuring with a level, just to give them a little more time to stiffen up before you put any weight on them. You'll still be able to move them around, so don't worry about that. A second method, which is what I like to do, is I'll get down at the tile surface level and look across the tesserae to see if there are any offending pieces. If I see something, I'll adjust it. Whether that means pushing down or pulling up, and I'll continue doing this as I tile the mosaic. I'll include a list down below in the description for all of the adhesives that I used in today's video in case you'd like to do a little experimenting of your own. Question of the day, let me know in the comments if you've had to build up any of your tesserae in your mosaic projects, and if so, what materials were you using? I would love to hear. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up as it really does help my channel, and subscribe if you haven't already. Click the bell notification so you never miss a single upload, and let me know in the comments if there's something you'd like me to cover in a future video. I'll see you soon. Bye. Let's see if we can make a little magic, shall we? Gonna lift me up today, aren't ya? One of those days. We all have them, right? Yeah. See ya, see ya, see ya, see ya, see ya. Hoo-wee. Hot mama. And we're done, all done, all done. We made some magic, didn't we? Yes, we did. If you're looking for more mosaic inspiration, you can check out one of these two videos. Until then, see ya. Did you guys see this video, Mosaic Barrettes?